shouldn't even be reading for it. Anybody, anybody uh, else have some questions about the chains, etc.? They're chains. They are definitely chains, and they are bad chains. But yes, you should uh, have definitely hit with that, and you can definitely do damage. I'm like doing things for reals now. This is this is so I can keep track of which chains are being destroyed. Gotta just keep it real. Also, I wish that was a better chain. I if this chain's better. Oh God, no. Sorry, I almost forgot. There is one more person the chains are supposed to try to attack. Not me. No, you've been attacked twice. It is supposed to be our unfortunate Nera. Did you hit me? Sixteen initiative. What? No, sorry, it was just reading. Speak silly. Uh, yes, I think I did. I have an 18 on a class. Well, it's unfortunately uh, got a, and out, you know, out of character here has a plus eight modifier. Wolf. So in, ruffle, 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 ruffle. yeah, so. High five to the plus 18 club. <laughs> you guys are all in the plus 18 club, fucking high no. AC assholes. I have a no. seven. You're the only one. As well as, what is the... Yours is 18. I know, but Samira's is... Oh, but Samira's not over there right now. She's yeah, 17 too. You guys high. all have decently high. To be fair, they made it easy to get high armor in this one. And to be fair, based on, you know, certain champs, granted not this one in particular, for reasons. Uh, Donnie Darko can only be hit with net 20s. Yeah, to be fair, I yeah. That's just Donnie, though. Donnie also is immune to, you know, slashing damage. He's just being a drama queen. Donnie's not fighting the constriction because he likes being choked. Oh. Speaking of, yes, the damage from before still applies, though. The 9 damage in grappling to Chloe. And then is going to be... 12 gram damage and grappling, unfortunately, to Nera. So, uh, basically, uh, everybody grappled right now. Team. Hugs! Okay. I frankly wonder why isn't there a, like, grappling check for that? That's, uh, what you get to do on your next turn for your grapple escape. Yeah, monster, yeah you, there's no... Are, we're a little different. They're, they're yeah. part of their attack rolls. So the part yeah. of my attack roll was the grapple. Yeah, it's it's it it's weird. If it's hits, it's considered a it's grapple, grapple attack. It's the same as like a, a trample attack. You know what I mean? Like they like once they roll it, like you don't like the DM can optionally give you a chance to like uh, reaction get out, but usually it's part of their attack or like being swallowed by a creature because those are in some of their attacks. That's always an interesting one. Damn, Tarask. Tarask? Tarask! Potato, potato. Tomato, potato. Carrot. <laughs> uh, yeah, hugs. And now it's Chloe's turn. To be fair, Chloe gets to start her turn with a grapple check. 
And uh, <clears throat> I got to double check something. Dun, 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 dun. Works. Is it athletic or acrobatics? Strength check. I think it's a pure strength check for the grapple. Oh, it's a, strength it's a, or dex. It is it's, an yeah, check. yeah. There, it's and a strength or dex attack. for defense, but for when you're doing a strength attack or a grapple attack, it's only strength. It's weird. Yes. It's uh -huh. so weird. But so, yeah, I strength or dex, whichever one you want to use, because you can like nimbly escape or you can just force your way out. Strength athletics or dex acrobatics? Yep. Uh, uh, Contested by strength. Yep, it is okay. so weird. Okay. Which, I don't even know. Oh. Um, so if they're trying to be grappled, you can also resist it with dex acrobatics. Really? I wish that yeah, would say that in the... Initiate... It does end up grappling if you go to the... Yeah, no, well, no, but yeah. I wish it would list that under the attack for the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. For monsters, it's different, though. Monsters yeah, that's yeah. right. That, and that's what it was usually the thing. When it's player to player or NPC to... Uh, or even just, if like, humanoids. doesn't specify grapples, that's all. That's true. Yeah. It, and they usually say it's upon the success, the creature is grappled. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but you can oh, wait, resist. Wow. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I also don't actually... Like, that's the other thing. Some of these are not done the best with. Oh, my God. Of course it has so that. So, Chloe... You actually don't get the D4 because it's not a saving throw. It's only on attack or saving throws. Yep. Not on con contests or ability modifiers. Yeah. It's really weird. It's like guidance. You uh, are a very, very lucky person. I will say. And you, uh, you were able to escape the chains. And I'm doing this for everyone before they had a chance to hurt you from being held by them. During your turn, basically they slipped on you and like, no, and you were like, get the f off me. But yeah, good job. So what do you want to do now? The chain is right here, and it is in attack range. And you did damage to it before. I am gambling that if we take the chain demon down, it stops animating these fuckers. Oh. You know, it really doesn't say. <laughs> I actually, hate this. Actually, it does. Actually, it fucking does. I think this. How did it get at the end? Oh, yeah. Right there it is, right at the end. In character, I, I am legitimately assuming that this is a chain octopus and that all the chains hanging down are literally its tentacles. Chain tentacle porn. Oh I my mean, god, the like, head Can we talk about this for a second? Can we talk about this for a second? The, wait a minute, it's two religious people in the friggin' party. It's literally. Don't have a clue what the hell this thing is. You guys made bad oh, roll. Oh yeah, that one knows, but couldn't tell you because everybody rushed in. And you rolled bad, which was funny. I think you also rolled for nature. Someone rolled for nature. And it already attacked was, uh... me, so I need to take it down. That was Jewel. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Donnie Ducko ruled for uh, Arcane. He was wrong. Uh, is uh, is Chloe moving or is she just uh? She doing, uh I'm, she, moving. I'm moving. I'm getting. She's it. she's trying to kill them all. Maybe the worst part Catch them all. Is. Sorry. Right, so that's my action with you to get that chain. Yeah. Yeah, it's why the chain is a bitch. I escaped from your grapple. I can't attack you. You're an asshole. To be fair, though, you can escape from attack range. Although, that would... Their attack range is stupid. They attack from the corner. They didn't, do. Didn't that one, like, attack from here? Yes. That's ten feet. Yes. <laughs> Where's the one that attacked me? Was it... It's basically right off the edge here. Okay, so this one's it right now. Okay. So, currently have and Donnie's basically come out. They basically come at you from the closest angle they can get you from. And where are they? There's one here, here, here. Is it here? Yes. Yeah, they're on their... Man, They did I put them on the wrong layer? I bet you they're on the wrong layer. No, they're on the right layer. They're just really hard to see. That or they didn't... No, they're in there. 
They're like little, they're little tiny spring looking things. Granted, that's like where they they're they they are, but they're coming from basically the points where you pointed. Kinda. Oh, they are little spring thingies. Yeah, that's because they're. Oh, I don't see them at all. They're yeah, stupid like, small. They're not. Like you... They don't show up well. I wish I had a better spring there. I'm not gonna lie, but that was my spring on the fly. <coughs> the green dot that you put down by John, it's right above the green dot. Yeah, like that's I said, funny. you got most. I think there's only one that's not totally correct, and it's the one for Donnie. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. There. Okay. That's that's Donnie's one, and his is actually the one that probably goes one of the least amount of distances next to John. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you got that one. Hers comes from basically so down here, here and down here. Uh, what are you going to use for those that I can shield up? Bonus action to shield up. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. It's, it'll give her extra armors and... Hooray for IC! Yes. The worst part is, is if you move, I bet you broke broken attack for opportunity. <clears throat> Yep, and shield. And I should I assume that shield of faith. Yep. I just wanted to double check and make sure in case there was another shield thing I was, you know, fucking up. And that will definitely help you a good bit because my rolls are ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that would make it uh, the the sleeping divvy's turn. She's been struck deaf, dumb, and blind. It happens. I'm one of those. And then it's once again John Skelling wound. Who unfortunately this time must resist the saving throw for the fear. Mm. Oh shit, I forgot. So was Chloe. I, that's why I was like, what? Okay. But I, uh, I feel like... Uh, okay. Because it you says... It's, if it can see, it turned around it's facing John. So it can't see us. Well, it turned, it turned back around. Because it missed John with a crit fail. So actually, it can't see John. So John doesn't start with one. So wait. Never mind. Sorry, I forgot that it turned around. I thought it was still facing John, which is why we didn't apply it to you. And it was going to apply it to John. That's on me. My bad. Because he's technically right. So now it is facing you guys and it is not facing him. But I missed that. Yes. And that's why I was asking you well, well, like I said, I, the way it was pointing is I forgot that it had turned around and was looking at you guys and not at John anymore. To be fair, it just gives you disadvantage on ability checks and attacks rolls, which you, which Chloe already has. Yes, and you can't double that. Yeah, so it, no, it, you it, fail it, and it still doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, if you fail it, you can't go closer to it. Yeah. Yes, you which can't you approach... True. Well, you can't approach anything, which is why she used, uh... Yeah. Yes. It literally did not matter. <laughs> but also, okay. that means I can't do melee, uh, like, spell attack against it, really. Not with a lightning imposed with a disadvantage. Nope, doesn't, it doesn't say... I mean, it would be disadvantaged, but you'll, make it, you'll be able to make another check next turn, and you have advantage against the check. I'm just saying, for this turn, it wouldn't have mattered. That's all. Because you, you had to get out of the grapple. Yeah. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so I attack it with advantage because I have flanking. You do. Nice. That is... Where am I? 19 to hit. Alrighty, that is a That's... hit. Yeah. That is 14 damage. Alrighty. And Second just attack. just also curious, I was pretty sure you are using the rapier. Yeah. What's up? I'm pretty sure you're using the rapier, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only weapon I have other than my sling. Just wanted to double, triple, chop, check, check. Uh, cool. 20, not nat. All right, that's definitely a hit, obviously. I mean, uh, not too out of character, but of 19. <laughs> uh, eight damage. All right, eight. I use my bonus action to do another attack. All righty. 25 to hit. 
That is a hit. Ten damage. Okay, so total of twenty-four. Thirty-two damage total. Dang. The beast move. Is that was a nice uh that was a nice triple sword attack there, Nick. <laughs> And uh, that will make it uh, Valius' turn, and I didn't get to turn it back around because I can't because goddamn the placement of some of the things on this. But uh, it is uh, Michael's turn, and he is starting in the vision of the character and has uh, grapple on, so he has to resist the frighten. And... I'm going to use my natural acrobatics, which is an 18, to escape the grapple. Okay, I'm... Um... I hope it's enough. It's a contested strength roll. It is. Sorry, athlete, that's. Uh, oh, that's athlete. right. You. Uh, that's right. It's contested. You can't take an at. It's not a uh, basic ability check. Sorry. Sorry, I believe in you. It's actually one of the few times I think. Yeah, this is one of the few times it's better. Trust me to take that. Uh, All right. right. I rolled like ass anyway, but that thing has as a, a almost the biggest strength modifier as you do. Cool. But you escape the grapple, so you don't take damage at the start of this turn. That's how I'm running it, because I feel like it's a pretty shitty way to just like, oh, well, you're grappled, then you take double damage because you got grappled. And it's because you're grappled. You just can't move. Gonna... Well, no, but this one, if you start the oh, turn, yes. Constricted. Yes. It has the constricted set, but I don't feel like for something like this, especially for the extra animated chains, it would be as thing. And also because we basically started that as a surprise action and we didn't like i said I, I always feel bad about not giving those reactions to things like well then it grapples you it's like well would i well, not be able to like dodge that can i dodge roll barrel roll right it's like he it's, says like archer well and then i hop out at the last second but it's exploding what do you what do you not understand about last second anyway nair's turn it fucking excuse me what oh sorry i uh oh, yeah, skipped right you. over you <laughs> bam go for it buddy now let's do it anywho i'm gonna use my disengage to get away from the chain and approach the chain demon all righty so much and, and i am now going to swing at it with my two daggers all righty so first attack and I have, what is it, it's a plus four to hit? Plus six to hit. Look. Sixteen? I plus think a that's D4. plus a d4, which you might want to use, but I think that's a hit. Doop, doop, do, just, just because one d4. Oh, it's a 19. All right, that is definitely a hit. All right. And since it's flanked, I get sneak attack on it. So I'll roll my 1d4. Oh, technically, you, do you do do you do advantage on attack roll with flanking? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you'd be able to possibly get a natural 20. Oh, because you only he rolled a uh, yeah, because you only rolled a 10. What was it? Fifteen and ten for the attack then? No, because the because the the. No, the fifteen was to get out of the grapple. Yeah. Oh, that's your action for the turn. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that takes the place of an oh, action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can disengage with a bonus action though. Because I believe that's uh, up to you. But yeah, I forgot. Yeah, disengaging from the grapple is your action. <sighs> that's that's why Chloe couldn't do anything. That's why she's like, I guess I sit here and I shield. Whatever, go. Nara's turn. That's why I went uh, right ahead. <laughs> so, this isn't oh, like a okay. thing where it's like, I've saved from the fear effect once. I'm good. No, so, yeah. no, okay. I don't believe so. It doesn't. It doesn't say it specifically. It specify? Okay, Usually, cool. when it's like that, it says once you've saved from this, you can't be affected by it again, or once you've been affected by it. But right. as far as I can tell, unnerving mass says that when. When the devil can see you and you start within 30 feet of it, it can create the illusion again and again. 
Gotcha. If they which succeed... Literally... <laughs> which literally means the rest of you are going to be perfectly fine, but he's going to turn around to run, and I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> uh, for me, that's a... It's a wisdom saving throw? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Wisdom saving throw. Okay, then, yeah. No, you're, uh, you're good. You're just like... Yeah. I see that every night in my dreams. <laughs> um... And I believe you must also escape yeah, the grapple. Yeah. I'll have to escape. Uh, this is just a, a check, right? Of dexterity. Or uh, a, this is a contest. So it's. Or, yeah, a contested roll. Which I don't know. I, they're, they're weird. Because yeah. it's technically, I feel you like, contested or under grappling and under combat, aren't they? They're under grappling. And under grappling, you either roll acrobatics or athletics. Okay, then against, yeah. Against the uh, grapplers. Strength athletic. That's right. So would then th this would then be at disadvantage because I'm exhausted. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. But you get to choose which one you're using. It doesn't matter. I rolled a natural one. <sighs> you are grappled. I am grappled. You are very grappled. You are you're just like a mummy. Wait, wait. Nara. 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 You're still grappled, I guess. But and because and because you're still grappled, you don't have movement. Right. And do I take damage from that then? Yes. So you're still grappled and well, you take 2d6 technically. When, on the chain's turn though. He still has a little bit of time, right? No, it's at the beginning of my turn. Yeah, it's supposed to be at the beginning of its turn until the grapple ends. The target is restrained and takes that much damage at the start of each of its turns. Well, okay. Then <laughs> is... Because... Is the attack that. then attacking me and doing damage, and then doing damage at the beginning of my turn? It or is yes, it saying but that that's the damage that you get at the beginning of your turn when you get grappled. Right, and that's what I'm. It says it takes. Case, I never it? took damage for being constricted. You do take damage for being constricted. I thought I had no, rolled you, for you. You need to give me the damage. Though. Okay. Because I, I only. Oh, took you the didn't. Oh, okay. Made, hitting me. And you failed your strength check to resist the constriction at the start of your turn when you grabbed it? I never resisted it. Oh, shit. I'm not wasting an action to, to get out of the, the thing. I, I attacked it three times. Oh, well then, fair. Yeah, you got to take uh, 2d6, which is for you, four damage. So, okay. That's the thing. It, it is, and that's the other reason I was, like, giving the option to, like, kind of contest it before is it's damage, but it's not unholy kind of hell damage. It's just annoying shitty tick damage well not shitty but oh, i'm just dead. so that's I happen to be close gonna enough, be I don't five have to move like it's true uh so that's five damage for five your damage. Con yeah for the constrict okay then i just made a constitution save for the first one and it was above 10 it was like a freaking 14 so i should be good on concentration for bless i think and you're Oh, that's right. You're under the effects then. of bless. Oh yeah. And then I just did. Let's see. There's so much to keep track of for spellcasting. Two plus five. That's seven plus two. That's a nine. So I do not maintain bless. Ooh, that's after rough. that second one. Um. Unfortunate. Yeah. So then with that, I just have my bonus action left. So then, with my bonus action, I'm just going to attack him again with my uh, spiritual weapon. Okay. So that would be a 10 plus 7, so 17. That should be hit. Okay. So then, a d8 plus spellcasting, so that's 3 plus 4, so 7 points of damage. Did seven points of damage. And that's my turn. It needs to do better. <laughs> All right, it is now its we turn, and it's run. it's back at uh, looking at uh, John because it keeps. T I am leveling some serious damage at it. You definitely are. <laughs> well, I mean, relatively to the, your guys' party. Unfortunately, this guy is uh, not a nice guy. 
And he's coming back with Two Chains, the new single, hot off the mixtapes, and he missed. And he missed? He missed the first one. He missed me? How many texts does he have? Because the last turn he only attacked me once. He gets two. Uh, no, he attacked you twice. He just crit failed that other one and fl- gotcha. turned all the way around, remember? Gotcha. So he's turned um, around so and with the uh, missed the first attack. I'm going to expend my reaction in a uh, superiority die. Eight. Ooh, nice. Eight. Sweet. And then I'm going to attack him with advantage. Uh, that's 20 to hit. That is a hit. And then I'm going to damage him for 17 points of damage. 17. Okay. And that is my reaction. I am down to the, my final two superiority dice. Go. Alrighty. He uh, is angry and swings with his second attack, uh, which does hit, unfortunately. Actually, no, he can't. He can only swing and miss with that first attack. Because his second attack... Wait. N- were you grappled by him or by one of the chains? Chains. I've never okay. been hit by him. Okay, so yeah, then he did hit, and he can also grapple you. <laughs> so you're double grappled now. At least as far as I understand, he can. I don't know. I don't see why he couldn't wrap more chains around you. guess that... I don't... Would that damage you, though? You know what I mean? If it has damage, it would damage. Oh, I know. I'm just thinking in a more contextual version of, like, if you were wrapped in chains, usually, would those chains damage that, or would they damage the chains that are wrapped around usually you? Usually how I understand it is if the if a chain demon hits you, it auto-grapples you, and if it has a creature grappled, it can then do the secondary ability, which is constrict. You can't constrict something that you don't have grappled. That I definitely get. My thing is, However, if you already, <laughs> well, yeah, then that's like I said, they've changed. Which is why I'm always getting used to these new ones too, because it's different in this one, and I'm always like, oh well, of course it is. Uh, but for this one, my more thought is, you're being grappled by an inanimate chain first, which is wrapped around you. The chain yeah. devil is trying to wrap around you, but there's nothing to say that it wouldn't wrap around the other thing, which is an inanimate chain, which itself can take damage. So I'm sta- I'm trying to see. It's, it's melee. It doesn't matter. It's also fair, but that what I'm saying is that you have two targets now in that space with you. You no, the and... chain is still technically in its original thing. Well, if it is, then how are you? Because it still has to be in range to attack you. Because it's this is the chain, the animated chain, not its chain. I realize. Right. It's, it, it would still hit me. They just because it's grappling me, it doesn't actually have to move into my square. That's fair. I just imagine if you're grappling with some... Aggressive doesn't have to wrap around your whole body either. Uh, Okay, so two monks have each other by their shoulders. It doesn't stop John on the left of Monk B to still hit him in the face. That's true, but once once again, we've got 10-foot chains that are are fucking wrapping around you. I actually think in 5th Ed they got rid of the whole percentile to hit people with ranged even. I think you still so have missed percentile or something, but... I, no, I don't think so. I, I think that there is no negative to shoot into combat anymore. Which is ridiculous. Friendly fire is real. <laughs> like... Anyway, with that in mind, you take, I believe, eight... No, yes, eight points of damage. And obviously are constricted by the second set of chains. So oh, how you else... Get dis- you get disadvantage if, if you are attacking someone within five feet of a hostile... Um, yeah, that's it. That's all there is hmm. for, for range. <laughs> and that's if you are attacking within five Yeah, hours. I mean, I knew that one, which once again, like if you pull, you know, an arrow right at someone right next to you, that's not going to be a little easier to make you stop shooting at them than if you were yep, 20 nope. feet away. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, they block line of sight or something like that. I yeah, it doesn't matter. yeah. But yeah, technically, Which, right now in five E, ranged attacks do not give a shit about crossfire. Yeah, Which yeah. is so dumb. You will always hit your friendly. You are Legolas. <laughs> like I am the one. Woo, pew. Uh, but yeah, you will take uh, eight damage from that, from the, and then are secondarily grappled. So how I like to imagine it is, you have one chain wrapped around one arm and another chain on another arm trying to grab you, and 
Not a problem. I'm yeah. at 28. Uh, so the chain that's grappling you cannot attack you again. Uh, but the other chain, the animated well, chain over technically here. Technically, the chain that's that's grappling me is doing damage at the beginning of my turn. Every yeah, time. yes, so... which it should have already done on your turn, not on its turn. Yeah, yeah. But that's why it can't attack you. It can't do another <laughs> grapple attack. It's it's even oh, yeah, in yeah. its descript description where it's like it can attack if the chain is not already grappling somebody. I'm, I'm waiting to see if Mr. Chain Demon actually does. A auto damage on my beginning of my turn we're about to find out here in a little bit uh i'm not sure he's right now had his two swings and missed one and hit one and well there's one more chain here that can swing at you yeah uh luckily for you i I angered everything pretty much uh (laughs) luckily for you that chain missed so no 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 uh you know harsh times on that chain but now it's all the other chains turns uh, which means one chain over here, which is going to swing over to tag Michael. That's cool. I mean, it's going to try. Uh, it unfortunately doesn't hit. This chain I mean, is going to, to try fair, to... Michael moved within range now, though, so what, like... I mean, it, it, it did, but you've been doing all the damage. Yeah. Well, that's because they haven't had a chance. True. True, it's, there's only been you and the spectral weapon. The other thing is, he's a rogue. Oh, I I can't wait for him to get damage off. It'll be nice. No, I'm gonna die. It's cool. He's got like five health. Oh, don't forget your thing is halved, but it's still every turn. Yeah, I was at two before. Yeah. That's why I'm at five now. Yeah. Anyway, it missed, and then it missed uh, Chloe, and... And now, and now it's taking a second to roll, and it missed. Wait, nope, it hit Donnie. I'm sorry, Donnie. You drama Donnie, queen. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. And uh, oh wait, yeah, he's already grappled actually. Who is already grappled still? So that you I can't am. get hit again. So you can't get hit again, and Donnie can't get hit again. John is grappled twice. Yeah, so we're good then. Sorry, I'm trying to keep track of six chains is not going well. Some chains. Oh, you're fine. You should just stop using six chains and run away. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if it was if that was what it did, it's pre- getting pretty close right now. I'll use, I'll use the BDM now to get my grab. Soon. But it should be Chloe's turn, and she is my not grab and she is not grappled. Uh, oh, that, so that, that, every that. turn you gotta, yeah, you've gotta make the save every turn. You don't maintain it; it it's at the start. You gotta continually resist. That's one good thing about it is you don't like then come out. Just every turn you get a chance to resist it, and then you're fine. Because it says any creature, not any creature, not already affected. But yeah, when a creature that devil can see starts its turn, they can create the illusion. Looks like the loved ones, bitter enemies. If it sees the devil, oh no, it has to be able to see the devil, and I have to be able to see it. It has to be both ways. Then succeed on the waving so, or be frightened until the end of its turn. Your fear would have ended at the end of. No, no. So that's the thing. It en- it ends on the end of your turn whenever your last turn was. So you were good because yep. if the creature can see the devil, it must succeed a DC 14 Wisdom saving throw or be frightened until the end of its turn yep. although it really should be more specific and say the end of so-and-so's turn to avoid confusion right until end of turn yeah right it should be more specific than the it's yeah. uh but in that context with the last thing being mentioned really stickly the creature at least as the main subject of the sentence and not the secondary uh noun or whatever damn you english <laughs> God you damn fake english. fake english ass language <clears throat> english is like three languages stacked up in a trench coat trying to be a real language muppet man but yes chloe chloe makes the wisdom or should uh, make a wisdom save if she beats it then she's free to do as she wishes I'd say that's a safe bet. Yeah. So you are no longer afraid. You look at me, you're like, you son of a bitch. And yeah, the inner reaction is just a little bit off. <laughs> 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 
Fair. Free action. I accept this. I feel like the chains would be like, what? How dare you? If you scare a mute, does it scream? They go. No. Okay. It depends if they're, uh, you know, a mute for different reasons. You can, like, you, you, you don't make noises with your vocal cords, but the sound of urination can be very loud. <laughs> I have a powerful bladder. Power bladder. Uh, all of the chains are still alive. It's just some of them are grappled to people and some are not. And this one still looks like the gun is behind me, but it's an overall fairly fudgy turn. Yeah, no. It's it's doing okay. Because you did what, 14? I did 9. Oh. From the reaction. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to uh, put oh, some yeah. numbers back on the chain. Thanks. Okay, anyway. The, this one is still alive, though. Hmm, I wonder how assistance on grapple escape is. I mean, usually assistance is just advantage, right? Well, yeah, but because I'm exhausted, it would just give me a straight roll. True. Uh, the other thing is it's, yeah, that's pretty much how, it, how it's supposed to work. Yeah. But, I mean, still better than exhausted roll, I guess. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got one. All right, so that's what's going on there. Uh, Fifi has still been struck blind, deaf, and dumb by unknown sources. Uh, Donnie, however, has escaped from his grapple. God damn it, Donnie. And he, lo he looks defiantly back at the chain and quacks. Donnie, you sweet bean. Dashing canard. These. <laughs> A mysterious mallard. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. A mysterious yeah. mallard of questionable descent. This is very true. And, uh, I think that makes it John Skellingbone's turn. Uh, how much damage am I taking? Uh, that is a good question. You are double constricted. I am constricted by a chain, and I am constricted by the chain devil, in case that matters. I don't think so. I think both chains do the same because basically the chains act as one of his attacks, like an, an extra. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so that is how it works. Well, not this one, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. But that's that's so that doesn't describe it. I hate the wording on some of these. 
I've been doing it 50 years. You figure they'd be a little bit better on the wording. Yeah. Because it... So the original chain attack, you can... Like, the devil's main chain attack, you he can keep attacking with those chains, even if they're wrapped and grappled. He just can't continue grapp grappling more people with the same chain. But if the animated chains are grappled, they cannot attack. It's a good-to-know thing. Uh, having said that... Uh, you're going to be taking 15 damage from those... Uh, Chain okay. constrictions. I attack him. Alrighty. For eighteen. That should be a hit. Fourteen points of damage. Ooh, very nice. And then second attack. Twenty-two to hit. That is a hit. 15 damage. It's his turn. Okay, I didn't know if you were going to... Or, uh, it's the next turn, sorry. I don't know who's next. Velos! What's up? Your turn. Cool. Uh, I'm going to attack the creature. Do it. And I have advantage. So that. So that's a 21 to hit. That's definitely a hit. So I'll you gonna, roll my. You're going to make sure to proc all your stuff? Four plus two. D6 plus the bonus damage. Are you gonna proc all your, your stuff? I'm only gonna remind you one more time. Proc what? your stuff. Proc all your stuff. What can you do oh. on the first round before <laughs> being attacked as your subtype of rogue? I can't get assassinated. You should be able to. No, assassinate only if they have not taken a turn in combat. Yep. Oh. Yeah, assassinate surprise round. my first attack yeah. because I was feared. E. I don't get assassinate. Thought that was each turn in combat. No. Nope. nope. Only the very nope. first time. Awful. It's like it's like um, Love Ranger Shoestock. They get one. Of, they get at least an extra movement and a extra damage. Anyways, here's the damage for the first weapon attack. Oh, god damn it. Of course. There we go. <clears throat> so that's a lot of You didn't. You weapon. still didn't proc your shit, and I waited. So that you wouldn't get your fucking automatic because and any hit you score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit. So it's you could have sneaked you but could have easily surprise. sneaked and it's surprised surprise. it. You could have easily sneaked and surprised it. As a rogue, he could act yes, he definitely could take a turn to sneak and then attack. You you said every you said every single time that it's facing their direction. Exactly. If it had just turned to attack John who would it be facing if it had just turned to attack John? You, you've never told that, it's, that it, okay. it turned specifically to attack me because every turn it's attacked me, but you, you kept it, saying it. Because the, first, because the other turn right. it had spun, correct? Remember the critical fail that right. spun it during its turn. And, so the second like turn you didn't have it, and then the turn fine. it turned back it's fine. If after you're your turn. Surprise, then, you know, he should have, no, he, he should had the surprise. option to take surprise. If you're paying attention to where it was attacked, because it turned around that first time, it did not okay. pull the turn around on the second time. Uh, Axel, I totally get where you're coming from, but your entire party is telling you that none yeah. of us were aware of that. Specifically, seeing as you did not change the monster's facing at all. I told all right, and I told you about 20 minutes ago. I can't change his facing anymore because of the way D20 is fucking has its little button. 
Got if you, you. Yeah. So if you rotate it us, all the way upside down. None of us were aware. I, so like, here you go. Yeah, because it, I, I see you. I, I I get what you're talking about. It's just none of us were aware because he's attacked me before and then turned to to face everybody else. We just we were not. None of us were aware. I'm sorry. We just yeah. were not aware. Right. None of I us will be much more face. specific on where everything is facing on. So the he is thing. currently facing me. No one should have to roll for fear. No, because it, and they haven't since he went to turn and attack you again the second time. I I literally thought I, I heard Velios roll for for fear. Sorry. This last that, time that, he did, he just didn't roll for fear gotcha. this last gotcha. turn gotcha. though, right before he attacked. Right, he had escaped the grapple last time when it was still facing him. Did have to escape that fear. Yeah. But this yeah, last I, time, prior to his rogue attack, I'm just saying, no one heard. Yeah. But he would have right had to do a fear check prior to that attack, were it still facing him. Anywho, second attack. Yes, back to where the turn order wow. is. Wow, thirteen. Thirteen, you say? Oh, well, actually, what no, was... that's, an, that's an eleven. So the first one was an 11, and the second one is the third? Wait. I'm very Okay, confused. the 11 was damage. Okay, D yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Sorry, you guys keep rolling those 2d20s as a 2d20 instead of two separate d20s plus six. So I have to actually yeah, the, sit and add them. Because yeah, you the, can roll 2d2. Yeah. Uh, so the 11 doesn't hit the... the obviously, the ele damage hits for the first one, but that 11 second attack does not. So he is definitely looking worse for wear, though, I will say. He's not a happy right. chain devil. So since that was... Actually, I worded that wrong. That's my... That's my offhand weapon attack. Okay. Gotcha. That's two, two, yeah. two daggers. Got you. Dual wielding, yeah. Right, dual wielding. So Thank you. Now I'm, now I'm striking it again for my second attack of the turn. Oh. <sighs> So that's a 16 for the second hit. Third hit, technically. That should be a hit. All right. I'll yeah. roll my damage. I need to double check this because it should be there, but I don't think there's anything special about this. I'm probably wrong. I'm always wrong. <gasps> what, it's got like a 24 AC or something? No, it it God no, it doesn't. Thank I was I'm always careful about that one for sure because one they usually don't have that high of a fucking armor class in in five e. Uh, but it's more about like stuff that like happens in turn, like if they have special mechanics that make them flee, shit like that. Right. Here's the damage for that. Ooh, nice. Okay, and so uh, upon that uh, final. Yeah, That's, that was what I was checking because I because I'd been treating it like that, and if I was wrong, that would have made the fight different. Granted, whenever I make a mistake, I just have to bite it. I just like nope that he I said he had this, so he has this now. If that means he's dead, he's dead. If that means you're dead, you're dead. I fucked it up. You can't go back when you play God. <sighs> and he cries, but yeah, uh, it screams out in a rattling noise as death hollows throughout the uh, chambers. And it, uh, the chains that form it slink apart and slide over the bridge. Out of sight. Ow. So much ow. So it... It is gone. It is gone. It is gone. However, special note to this, the, the chain... All right, so the chain that it had grabbing John, gone. It's it declasped, you know what I mean? Slithered off into the thing. All the chains from the stealing, still around. So the one that's grabbing me is still yes, grabbing me. Okay. Yes. As as well as the one grabbing uh, John, because he had one grab from the main creature and one from one of the animated ones. If I remember correctly, I may have remembered incorrectly. Anyone wants to comment on that? That's why I thought that it had yeah. that line drawn as opposed to this one not having a line drawn over here. Yeah, he's, st he's still uh, he's still grappled by one of them. I was thinking... Oh, yeah, me? I'm still grappled. Yeah, that's what I was thinking for the one. Just one, though, not the other. 
Uh, yeah, the other one had missed for yep. the first time. Yep. And the Chloe and uh, Michael had both escaped and not been re-grappled, and Donnie had been de-grappled. Yes, and I'm the old, uh, me and John are the only ones yep. still grappled. And so, and that was the other thing is I forgot is on the start of turn, I'm allowing the grapple as like a first reaction to get out of early damage. Because I always feel like that's the thing. If I start my turn, isn't that like me escaping the damage? Yeah. Then again, I'm always for the players. <laughs> Except for this, this particular mission was not a very player happy one. They, this one was not made to make ha players happy. Except for Donnie. Donnie is always made to make players happy. But yeah, if you want to escape your grapple and see how you do with your assistance now from Chloe. Yes, I will escape my grapple. Hopefully. I doubt I do. Um, I mean, it's a straight roll now. Because yep. Chloe. Yeah, that's a 12 total. Oh, it's a contest. So it all depends on what I roll. Mm. Uh, well, you got out, you lucky ducky. Yes. Whew. Chloe helps you for the win. Oh. Halfling amusement. I think luck, uh, halfling luck is uh, contagious. <laughs> Speaking uh, of, uh, that is uh, the thing you can take any bonus, obviously, actions you have or free actions you would like to take. Right. Is... Do I notice if, uh, I know, I know, uh, Belios and John have been hit. Do I notice if any of them are, like, really, uh, uh both Belios and John are looking fairly low for their, uh, expected life totals. You know, roughly quarter to a fifth, either of them. If I had I'm to pretty, quantify. Uh, I'm pretty no. bruised. No. Chloe, shut up. Chloe, shut up. <laughs> Chloe, shut up. <laughs> He's just trying um, to get his... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, well, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I have a... It's only a bonus action. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to make a roll. Because the thing is, I might know some stuff, but I just want to... I just want to make it up to... A chance. Uh, okay, it's a four, so that's larger, which means a larger distance away, which means that John oh, is getting a healing. Cool. Oh yeah, you can do AOEs. That's great, right? That's neat. That okay, that so actually that would uh, that would actually really help me activating those when people have auras and shit with like the bless aura and stuff, because I will yeah. always forget auras a million times yeah. out of a million. So oh, if you, you if you click the little gear, you can actually set up to two auras and even change their color. So like twenty foot aura, bam. Sweet. The problem is I have to adjust it, I believe, so that everyone can see your aura. So then I have to go like that. Can you can you guys all see the yellow aura that I'm casting? Probably not no, right no. now. So let me change it. So like now they should be able to see the aura you cast. All right. Yeah, so I what can are see you? That. So That's you're perfect. using it on John. I'm yeah. using it on John. But purely and... by the roll. Okay. BT dubs. Yes. And, and I doing ten points of healing. Well, as you're casting the spell, I'm gonna jump out of the range of the aura. Oh no 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 no! I I was I was. Messing he was just around. messing around with an aura. Yeah yeah. yeah. You're I was, good. I was, I, I'm still trying to learn a roll twenty, so like I'm trying. Though so there's oh, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. problem is it is it is so open ended. There is so much to be done and changed. Like I barely have touched the service. Even the, uh, the, who was it? He just messaged me on Twitch, Michael, uh, Patrick or what? what no, yeah. it wasn't Patrick. It was, was it Patrick? No, it was the dude, uh, machine empire. Who was that dude? Yeah. That's, that's Patty. Is that Patty? I thought it was. Yeah. All right. Well, I was right. I was just down myself. I got it right. So, but I was so wrong. You, so you heal me. Yeah. So yeah. I, I take out a scroll and I burn it up. And the words that you hear that don't actually come from your mouth, ring truer in your ears and you heal for 10 points because i was, I was gonna say if you're using like an aoe heal on him because <laughs> 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 yeah i thought we was about to stop you <laughs> like don't do it 
Don't do well, it. Well, we'll say the RPing is I know John a little bit better, so I want to save him. Gotcha. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, pretty much right after the uh, the the thing is gone, this guy pops out from over here. Hey, there he is. Um, I still, I still need to get out of this chain. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea now that the main enemy is down. Speaking of, uh, Nera's turn, I assume, is done now that she's done her healing. It's Chloe's turn. That is, uh, that is not quite the role that I was, you know. You always hope for something more than a one, but you always hope that it's not just a two. Yeah. <laughs> two can be as bad as one. Well, for the halfling, two is worse. It is, because you can't re-roll it. Yeah, no, Although, no, and this is always the one we keep bugging her about, that we wait until that, until we cancel the series, is that once you roll that double one in a row, you you have to keep the second one. It says on the original yeah. one that no matter what the roll is, that you have to keep the second one. Yeah. Which is so stupid. Because it's that way to do that. It's, I'm still waiting. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> I just love that he hates them. We need to add more to the campaign. Invite all your Everyone halfling friends. Everyone needs to play halflings and gnomes. <laughs> it's just Michael and a bunch of bitches. We're gonna be sent to an ultimate dimension where everybody just becomes halflings. Everyone's and GB halflings versions. Become giants. Yeah. Ooh. And giants become mosquitoes. <laughs> it's a real big perspective switch. But yeah, uh, whatever Chloe wants to do here is all up to Chloe. Chloe, you be Chloe. Neo looking, is Neo looking bad or is he just... Um, I don't know. If I was to like arbitrarily say like, I don't know, one on a scale from one to 37, I'm about a 21. It's a very precise, you know, kind of uh, indication of general health, no. but I enjoy that kind of alle allegory. You know, they started doing that in, in like, uh, Taekwondo matches. They have, like, fighter health bars. Really? In certain ones that, they, not all of them, obviously, but in certain ones, it's like a health bar to show their score. So, like, when they lose, they have zero health. It's, it's pretty cool, actually. I was like, nerds, yeah. yeah. It's like video gamifies it. Exactly. Um, but yeah. And Neo, you heal for five points. Ooh. Ooh. As you heal yourself. <laughs> Some of my burnt hair is growing back. I toss a healing potion on Velas. No, no, you don't. No. I dodge out of it. <laughs> He's got the replace <laughs> chance of me. No, the Does he have throw object as a as a? <laughs> No, I don't even have potions. I can't afford that. It's like I don't even have the potion. That's just expensive. I was, I was. That was like earlier. I think it was uh, Dara. Was like, I got a hundred gold. Is that too much? I'm like, no, no, not in five. In three, it would have been a decent amount of gold, but even then, this shit's expensive for adventurers. Nope. We're not nope. repeating this? Nope. As much as it sounds like it nope. is a redid, uh, redundant asshole thing to say out of my mouth, but don't heal the rogue if you don't want to get a more damage out of it. That's when I, you go I can't heal anybody. <laughs> I know, but he's telling me. Oh. Yep. They so need. if you go to look at me right now, I'm looking much better besides some scarring on my arm. From a mistake that happened. <laughs> she's slowly feeling her because, like, okay, I said I was sorry before it worked. Before it worked, it felt like it wasn't an intentional. It was unintentional. If it worked before and then after said incident, it doesn't. That's why we need to be a doctor for you. 
I don't need to see a doctor. I'm perfectly fine. Nera, Nera taps Chloe um, with the book in her hand and, and pointing to healing hurts him. Uh, Nera is going to walk a little bit closer, not too close. I I'm still wrapped up in chains. Oh, if you want to try and get out of chains, I, I'm just waiting for my turn. It was Chloe's turn. Oh, that's true. It's Chloe's <laughs> turn. I, I totally forgot about that. I forgot we're still in turn. So well, we're still. I, I want to just remind everyone: there's oh, still hold. animated chains around you. Cough. Even though cough, chain devils cough have their chains usually die. Cough. We've we've uh, we've kind of experienced that this is not a usual place. Yeah, that's true. So... Speaking of, uh, everybody, roll a perception check. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, I'm amazing with that. Yes. Ten. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what Seven. was... Okay. Speaking of, Donnie quacks and books it to about right here, and then he's in line of attack, so he's not going to go any further. Everyone audibly hears John start growling. Like, like a mad puppy growl, or... You, you you look you see him st start staring at his arm growling he's angry he's a, he's like a dog locked up no bone to chew Alrighty, and that's, uh, is that what we're gonna do for Chloe's turn? Other than casting? I just want to make sure you didn't have any other bonus actions. I and... fail at escaping. That was, that was your escape? My escape was a roll of five. Oh, I remember you did it early. Oh, or two, two. Yeah, I remember you did it early. I was like, oh, yeah. Nope. So, uh, having said that. Um, so I try to escape, I pull, try to pull my arm free from the the chains, growling at the chains. It's humming. Would it, why is it humming? That can't be good. Yeah, no, I'm not even arguing with that. You hear Chloe? It's like, I'm not even arguing with that. But at least they're not touching you. Uh, what, how much damage do I take? Uh, you're gonna take 10 damage. It has a wide variety on this roll, man. To be fair, I suck at rolling a lot of the time. <laughs> Which has saved your guys' lives more than once That is today. my turn. And, uh, it is now Velios. Yep. Uh. uh. <sighs> I don't know what the fuck I want to do. So... The creature, I'm going to assume, is... It didn't actually die. It just disappeared. Um... I mean... Considering some of the chains are still animated. 
Technically, all the chains are still animated. Yeah. You'll see. But, yeah, I mean, regardless, the chains are still active. They're just... You can tell, because the one was still wrapped around Nera, and the one is still wrapped around John. They haven't gone limp. Yes, they haven't gone limp. Well, uh, I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna strike the chains. Okay. Make an attack roll. Still with advantage. Hmm. No, it has had combat. I was been thinking for the things. Uh, also, I, w I would always suggest trying sneak, like, s especially, I, I can't, can okay. you sneak up on a okay. chain? Can I'm you sneak, sneak up, up on, on a on chain? chain. It, look, man, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta be sure, man. It's the same issue as before. Like, sometimes things are apparent and sometimes I overthink them heavily. But yeah, I mean, it's a chain. You should be able to attack the chain. It's just a chain. They just have stupid AC. Yeah. Which seems weird, but... Honestly, I, I almost prefer they treated them like actual objects with hardness. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But just give them the added resistance because of how clumsy they are. Right, and of course there's I, says, yeah. I, I just need to know if I'm rolling with advantage or not. Yeah. I, f <laughs> I don't know, is that a flank? Uh, let's see if I We're going to say regular roll. Regular roll? Yeah. You should be fine. No, well, I'm not. Yeah, I was wrong. Try again. It's like... Alright, I'm not afraid to admit I was wrong. So that was with the first weapon, second weapon... It won't let my let me add these beautiful drawings to the turn order. Does 21 hit? Uh, yes. That actually does. Alright. So I'll roll my 1d4. And would it be considered in, in combat with John so I could do the sneak attack on it? I mean, technically, it is in combat with John. Grapple is still part of combat. I feel All like right. is. I mean, should be. It's under the combat section. Not plus forty-one. I wish it was plus forty-one. So my second weapon strikes it for seventeen. And I, I, I gotta double check with John, but I don't believe this has been struck before, correct? Nope. So let me do one check. So you strike it, and many of the chains seem to take some heavy damage, but it's still hanging in there by a thread. Right. Like a champ. And I'm taking my second attack. Hooray for multi-attack. 16, does it hit? Yes. No. Sorry. Sorry. I was thinking of the actual uh, creatures or AC. Ah. All right. And that is then your turn. So it's Nair's turn. All right. So. Wow. There's. Donnie went quack. He did quack. I looked down. I'm gonna scoop up Donnie. I'm guessing he's two sizes smaller than me. Yeah, Donnie is a uh, not a small creature. What's right below small? Tiny. tiny. Yeah, he would be a tiny creature. So I'm gonna scoop up Donnie, and I'm gonna nudge Chloe, and like with a little bit of a concerned look on my face, just point her to the end of the bridge. I'm just gonna go my thirty feet all the way over here. Nice. I'm guessing picking up Donnie would be. I, th I think that's action. a free action. Free action? I mean, you're picking up a duck that is willing. 
Oh, that, that's true. That's very true. It's like, it'd be okay. different if you were like, you know, but that's like the same as picking up a bag. You you can do that on the way out of the room. You know what I mean? You're yeah. just like, bam, got it. Let's go. Um, And then since I am here, can I even sacred flame this chain? Well, you have to think it's chain, it's metal, heat conducts, so if I have to make a pause. dexterity saving throw. I don't even know if it can. It doesn't have any stats. Yeah, that's what that's making The me... book didn't give it any stats. God this damn it, I... wizards. So, like, I... oh, what? Like... See, and this is why I said what I said. Wizards Yeah, yeah, you're right. What's Animated object. The there's the stats on goddamn animated chains. It's the AC twenty twenty hit points, resistant piercing, and immunity to psychic and thunder damage. Yes, but it doesn't say if it has a dexterity, dexterity save. Oh, no, it, <laughs> it automatically also it automatically say, uh, loses all saves. If it doesn't list stats, it always loses all saves. All right, that's good. That. Good. I mean, that's right. how I've always run it, that, at least. I, I, they just, it's one of those gray areas where they don't give you a specific thing, yeah. and they didn't give information in it, and they could have. They could have easily done, like like Jewel said, just gave it the inanimate object stats. or And even said, like, treat this as an inanimate object with the same base stats and... Or any number. Yeah. yeah. But we're, we're just going to call it a no-save and say that you get the hit off. Okay, so... It takes... Four damage. Well, uh, luckily for you, that is enough for the final link that was damaged by the thing to crack. Uh, the chain withers, and it even falls off the ceiling and into the pit. It's gone. Like a snake tendril. This other chain is not happy about that, by the way. Uh, and then... He's free. I'm going to use my bonus action to move my spiritual weapon up there and attack this chain nice uh which would be this oh i if the 16 didn't hit earlier then that didn't hit no all. no sorry well yeah yeah no the, the chain kind of nimbly dodges out of the way and if chains could laugh it laughs no like it rattles in a condescending way <laughs> And at this point, uh, these chains, which extend very, very far to the ceiling, by the way, uh, swing over here. And uh, for those people within range, if possible, they can do an attack of opportunity as they're moving through directly to those areas. Oh, well, I made that smaller than I meant to. And there we go. Just gonna get rid of some of these dots. So we've killed one chain now, so there should be five chains left. Wow, I learned something today. What's that? Flanking doesn't exist in fifth edition. No, they got rid of flanking. Okay. There is it does in the DMs guide. There's a there's yeah. a small thing, but it's it they it wasn't really an official in the player's handbook, so a lot of people right. you know what I mean? And like I said, even in the DM guide, it's like one sentence that even mentions it, and it doesn't really mention a lot of specific it's like if you and someone are on the exact opposite side, I think it is, is yeah. flanking now. So it's like so weird. Uh, having said that, both uh, Nira and this guy here should be able to take an attack of opportunity on the fleeing chain if they should so choose. And uh, that guy will. Oh, shit, son. Now, oh, of course. I gotta roll like ass, and he can only you can only do one attack of opportunity. You can't take your full attack roster, unfortunately. But yeah, he took a swing and hit, but didn't do as much as he would have wanted. And that, uh, let's see, though this one would have swung from down here up to here. So you should have been able to hit this one, I think, because it's moving out of your range. This one stayed. This was the one that was badgering Donnie. 
Donnie's one. This one was that one. This one was the one badgering Michael. The bottom one. This was the one badgering her. And this one was the one in the top left corner. Yeah, I think. I could be wrong. Too many chains. But yeah. So as far as um, normal goes, those chains shouldn't actually have any sort of attack after the chain demon is gone. Yeah, no, after it's gone, they're not supposed to in main. But these ones are uh, different, as was the chain demon no. itself, because the chain demon is actually a medium-sized creature. No, I I understand. I'm just I'm just. Oh no no yeah, and there's only supposed instance. to be uh there's only supposed to be four of them as well. Oh yeah yeah no no no. Yeah, but this. I was, I was reading it because he, because the other thing is we should have been restrained, restrained, not grappled. Yeah, that's right. It said the target. Well, let's see, because it said target grapple is an already isn't grappling teacher. Oh, the target is restrained if until this grapple ends, the target is restrained. Yes. Yeah, which is slightly different, which means that we should have been taking disadvantage on rolls for attacks. Yep. Well, but we learned our something. Is also zero. So it's like. I, I I was looking at it and I was like, you know, I totally get where he's coming from on this. Like, this is like the stupidest write write up ever. It's so <laughs> weird. It, and the problem isn't even like I said, the information is there. It's just not there in a very concise manner where you would want them. Like that's information yeah. that I kind of want. You know, like it's well, like, it's like it says well, the target like is grappled. The... Why not just say the target is restrained? Grapple escape DC fourteen because it's well, like, auto. Yeah. Like, 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 for instance, even just the animate chains, it leaves it open ended on, like, okay, well, the person's uh, grappled and restrained, but yeah. do they still take the damage like normal? Mm hmm. And then, like I said, it's, <laughs> it's, it's so very, it's... like, little bits on this. Oh, yeah, and then you have to see it, and it has to see you within yeah, no, 30 feet. Right up was horrible on it. Oh, God. And honestly, like, I went to the, the book in edition. <laughs> You'd figure it was would be like a lot better. It's not all that much better, dude. It's it's pretty much word for word the same goddamn shit, and in the same order everything. Uh, it's they like that's the thing. Yep. The roll twenty just makes it look really shitty, and sometimes they are absolutely missing shit because roll twenty fuck them. But th that it's just such a short entry, even compared to like I think I'm just too used to the old devil entries where you got like full pages and you know. Uh, like cosmology layouts of the the hells, and not even just in the nine planes. You just had a whole devil section in the monster manual. Yeah. Well, you also had like seven monster manual books too. That's true, but I mean <laughs> that that there were different devils in all the different ones. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, like there's a difference between a devil and a fiend. Oh yeah, there was. That was always interesting. Demons and devils, yeah, very interesting. I, th I thought it was cool so, the way they handled that though. But yeah, the uh, the this this particular one, this whole one is actually staged off of uh, another idea where it's basically everything is tweaked slightly. No worries. I was I just I took a look at it just to be like, well, you know, what are the sets? Yeah, yeah, because it sounded like there was a little bit of confusion as to like why, and I was like, I, I wonder because I'm more used to like three point five. Yeah, same. I, uh, <laughs> i'm originally a 3.5 player like i play 5e now because it's I stopped like playing three i stopped playing three five because it's too easy to break characters that really that was pretty much my thing is like if you set up like a wizard with a mm, crossbow at level one he does d12 and has a spell i'm like come on it was there was a lot of ways okay. to break it but yeah so these chains are still animating themselves? They are however and this is more of a perception thing while they are animated they don't go limp they're not uh, these ones are moving but they're not aggressively attacking you anymore like the other one was holding you and because you were being held by razor chains it was damaging you but it was yeah. no longer like constricting your thing yeah gotcha it, it was just okay, basically so once, holding its thing and so once i'm free it kind of just dangles there yep and then obviously they all kind of chain moved up here but once again they're not like attacking you at that point they're kind of almost like they're not moving more like they're being drawn to a point you know what i mean so they're still uh, not technically controlling themselves. They're just still animated. I just, I, I, I get out of range. I definitely understand that. Yeah. Um, someone needs to let Diffie know that that her master needs her. I think we're, just, my... we're, we're gonna... Uh, I point... <laughs> Diffie, uh, during the confusion, she's over here, and uh, it, anyone who asks can't say how. We're gonna just uh. claim she... Uh, 
<laughs> she did a uh god damn it what is a wind walk misty, misty, misty step misty that's misty it step. god damn it. and we're still in the mist correct uh the fog is still here although once you got to the other side of that pit it's a little lighter Are like we, it, do we need to make a wisdom check not currently it's a very randomly rotating scale. Plus, you guys are, uh, you know, it, it's, you're so busy fighting monsters, who'd know if you did forget something? Fair enough. Um, Chloe, it hurts. We need to, we need to get out of this mist. Yes, but also we need to get rid of this mist. We need to get rid of this, because I, I don't think none of us is two feet in front of us if we look get at it. So... It's lighter up on this side. Did it get thicker uh, when we uh, went down onto that platform? Absolutely, yeah. So once you were in the center, it was... So okay. the gradation being, like, outside, let's say it was a very thick fog. Like, probably the thickest fog you've ever seen in your life. You got 10 feet of vision, you maybe 15. When you came so down, Vellis, it was even thicker. Velus lit... Am I, am I looking at something wrong here? Oh, Velus lit this one. Yep, still lit, lit, by the way. One. Yep. Those are all still lit, yeah. The line filled up that way. Yeah, so just to illustrate it real quick, uh, we'll say, we'll say, let's do red for fire here, right? That was the first one. Then a red line appears going this way. Then, what was the second one you lit, Michael? That one. This one was lit. No line appeared. Okay, can we unlight this? That's something you'll have to ask, Michael. But yes, he mentioned earlier while he was talking that uh, that it will stay perpetually burning until the element is removed from the jar. Vils, can you re remove that element? I don't know. I'm how betting... to expect me to do that. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Um, Could roll in, you know, arcane checks or knowledge checks. Or... I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna put my tombstone shield over the top of it. Oh, very good idea. I put my stone shield over it. Un unfortunately, by the nature of the eternal burn, uh, it continues to burn. Okay. Without oxygen. Okay. Somebody take a torch, light it, and put it in the other ones. I don't care if they're all lit. I'm. I'm just wondering if we have to light them in order. The thing is, with that one already lit, I don't know if it's a difference. Uh, Vel, can you... Because you still have the torch. Can you light this one? Uh... I suppose. I guess I'll take the torch and stick it in the jar. At uh, which point, the fire bursts and flares several feet up in the air, of course. And, uh, you know, it uh, does that, but unfortunately... Uh, does not make another line on the thing. Okay, I take I take a water flask out and put water in it. Ooh. Give me a moment. Ah. Pop out. I really gotta look that up one of these days because I had it and then I didn't put it where I wanted there we go eh. did I miss something no no you're you're doing fine so, and you put it in this top one correct yeah the one that we're currently working on. I'm a, my, my character is assuming the line. This is a, going off of the idea that follow the line. And so once you do, the water begins to spout. It kind of like a fountain straight into the air and back in on itself. And the blue line shoots down here. I blow oh. on the next one.
See, this one's going to be the hard one. Uh, you uh, blow and a mini cyclone begins to form. Uh, as it does, unfortunately, a line does not show up. I, I take the dust off of the floor and sprinkle it inside. And once you do, the dust builds until it has become dirt. And the so, dirt makes a line. Okay, so the dirt makes a line. Okay, so we, we do. So one of them is going to be wind at least because the wind did have a response. Uh, blow on the next one. Try to blow the fire out. I uh, attempt to blow into the uh, jar. Nothing happens. Hmm. <laughs> Damn semantics. I pat Mira on the head, and then I blow into the jar for her. Okay. So, so, so as so as near as blowing and nothing's happening, I pat her on the head and I oh, try to like no, do like the whole steal the birthday candle. It was a uh, bike. Uh, oh, oh, it's Belios. Oh. <laughs> so uh, you're, you're, he he, it's still free. he he blew into there, but yeah, he did. Uh, he, Sorry, his did here, not. Trying try to be trying to be cheeky about how I can't even breathe. I don't even make breath. <laughs> I don't have lungs. Stupid oxygen suckers. Okay, um, out of character thing. Yeah. My character does not breathe. <laughs> so yeah, he can't. Uh, he can't ah, blow. Gotcha. Um, I try to blow on the fire one. Uh, it blows out the fire and creates once again the air tornado, but does not uh, create a line on the ground. Anyone have any form of lightning? I take out. Yeah, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe said something. I, I take I take kindling out of my tinder box and put it in. <laughs> Wood. <laughs> Chloe says, "Well, I think." I As As the uh, I'm trying, man. no, he's it, uh, he's right. A tree <laughs> sprouts from the wood, and the wood travels across to the next line. Yes, blow on that one, damn it! We're gonna blow on every single one of these. Blow on everything. That is the new party motto. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, <Horrible. it's> <laughs> blow everything and everyone. <laughs> oh god. No. Anyway, yes. Like, okay, where do you need this lightning? Hi, are you almost okay. ready? Drop it in there. Oh no. Try it on this. Okay, she walks over to it. Because okay. I, I get, so I bet you lightning is, is like wind. So 9.30? Okay, and Chloe, stick her in Okay, I'll be there at 9.30. Okay, shocking grasp. Oh, alrighty, so, uh, shocking grasp. <laughs> uh, we already did a, did we already do a blow? We, we did not do a blow. Okay, so the shocking graphs does work, and the electricity begins to, like, statically crackle out, kind of like, you know, imagine a... whatever they were, the old disco electrical lamp things. Electrical balls? Oh. I can't oh, remember. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's lamps. all path of exile shock. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, nothing comes out from the ground. Chloe, blow on it, please. Scientific purposes, blow on it. <clears throat> Process elimination. I was I was gonna make a really bad joke, but I'm not gonna. I walk over and blow on it. <laughs> As you blow on it, a small tornado builds, obviously, and uh, a line of wind shoots to the other circle. And uh, when it does, the uh, platform starts to rotate and the chains sure start Dippy's to be on the platform get the heck off the platform she's booking it <laughs> i like how it's like it's like i'm moving this one on we're getting off yeah. i'm getting the heck off nope uh -uh. stays on the platform anyway i'm staying on the platform because if we're going I'm, and off. it's not the mail and i will say the the dais is spinning so basically the star is spinning from all the points and the elements which were obviously crossing through the center are now also shooting 
around this circle, creating walls. And uh, as it spins, the chains are being retracted up into the ceiling. Nera looks over to Donnie. I put Donnie in the middle. <laughs> God, no, you'd have to try and... <laughs> You're gonna have to Nero, pry put... Donnie out of my cold, dead hands. Nero, Nero, Donnie needs to go right there. Donnie is going to choose to stand by the element that best represents him, which is wind. Cathars is gonna sit next to Chloe like, what the f is going on here? These guys are crazy. You part of those guys. You guys are crazy. Okay, but do you see me doing something like this and standing in the middle of it? Yeah, I mean. Okay, we put Catharsis in the middle. My body! My bones! <laughs> Gosh darn it, Catharsis! <laughs> my bones! Oh, God. I've never fought a circle before. <laughs> so the chains, so so the, the colors swirl and the chains go up? Uh, yeah, so the chains basically retract you know, back the several hundred feet into the darkness of this cavey abyss. And uh, the ground, and I wish I could animate this, but, you know, I'm not an artist, rises up where the holes used to be, revealing that in the bottom of the holes were what appear to be a forest of spikes. Ooh. Yeah, and when I say forest, I'm talking Mortal Kombat style forest gotcha. of spikes. <laughs> 10, well, 20, 20 foot tall. Acupuncture well, it doesn't matter now. Now, the basically imagine this whole hole is gone is is ground level, and the spikes are twenty feet in the air now. Okay, uh, uh, is there room to go between the spikes? Yes, the spikes don't cover every square inch, but there's basically a five foot gap in between the spikes. You know what I mean? Enough, you know, the, the halfling's got room to kick and snare, but gotcha. Everybody else is gonna have to stay in a line. Uh, and even though the chains and those are all gone, and that has uh, been done, the uh, out dais. Out of curiosity, do the spikes come up underneath the bridges? Yes, actually. Oh, the whole floor is filled, so the spikes do come up underneath the bridges. Chloe, make a reflex save. <laughs> Luckily, the Catharsis' bones are safe. To be fair, it's, it's not a very fast ascent. It's not like they just suddenly shoot up because they had to shoot was... go up several hundred feet. In, I... in all honesty, I wasn't like trying to. No, to, no, no, to, no, no, no. Oh, I'm, and I'm also just explaining like the, the no, no, yeah no, the was, logistics of where the room is at now. Yeah. Yeah, because the thing is, like up to this point, the the bridges have kind of been like this safe zone. Like nothing's really been over the bridges or messing no. with the bridges. No, the bridges have very much been like, and and the dais itself, with the exception of the monster, is was you know completely as opposed yeah. to you know when you were going. I. Uh, speaking of as the so if I could like roughly really it would want to go this direction. <laughs> I'm not going that direction. I'm just letting everyone else know. I really feel like it's this way. Like, whatever we're looking for might be this direction. Uh, speaking of, uh, after all of that has happened, uh, the uh, elements, which aren't supposed to do this, mind you, in those jars, go out. I think I might have accidentally deleted somebody. Can I pick up the fire jar? Uh, you can, it would be down there, so you can definitely pick it up. Me. Yeah. I pick up the fire jar. Okay. And, and then I, while holding it like a cannon, I flint it. Okay. Away from any of the party. All right. Uh, it does as it usually does. Uh, okay. and... I'm using it as a light source. Okay. It's also projecting a good, uh, three foot of flames in front of you. I'm perfectly fine with this. I figured you I, would be. I strap it with the base of it to the bottom of uh, to the to the uh, to the front of my shield, to the tombstone. Fair. I feel like that should require a small crafting check, not necessarily a complex one, but a crafting check nonetheless. Can I, I don't take know. my time? Yes. 
I feel like it takes time for these. Like I said, these spikes are not like shooting up. Imagine like, you know, when they crank up like things in movies and you're like go waiting we're for the other. We're, we're just dying for a light source and I, it occurred to me that maybe I could use it as a light source. <laughs> it is an interesting thing. I will admit it is one of my uh, more unique things. It was a, totally just an invention for this me mechanism. I totally um, designed the mechanism and then designed those jars to help explain it. That was it. Hey, Clo hey Chloe, do you would you be interested in trying a, a, an experiment for me? Actually, Nira. Nira, I need your help, you. Nira. Can you, you do water. what they call holy water? Uh, she gives you a little bit of a quizzical look. I point at the one that was spewing out water. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that could spew out holy water. Uh, I pull out. <laughs> Did Sylvanius literally like <laughs> hit at the holy water spewing idea? <laughs> God. I pull out. I pull out my one flask of holy water and just show, just show a one on my other finger. But if that could make more holy water, we could just refill that. Worst case, your holy water we know is not tainted, so we could put it in there, possibly have a constant source of water. We'd have fire and water covered. Which are the two largest problems when you're out adventuring. And then food after that. Which you can solve with fire and water. <laughs> they do help. They, you, you pretty much need those others. Like I said, they're the first ones, and then food. Which one was the water one? This, this one. That one? Oh, I, I'm, 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 run. yeah, that one. All if, right, no one gonna... if, if no one stops me, I grab the other ones just, just to be sure. But. I'm going to. If I have to put my whole flask of holy water in there. I'm going to do it, and if it spews up, I'm going to try and catch some in my flask I, again. I, I will buy you more holy water if it comes down to it. All right, then I dump it in just immediately. Uh, when you dump it in, uh, the water immediately sprouts a nice three-foot pillar, like a fountain. Uh, however, uh, in the function, once you try to catch it, uh, it stops spewing. It refills the jar entirely. But it stops spewing the water okay. and returns to its empty state. Gotcha. So I will dump it in again, or no, I'll just take the I'll just take the jar and okay. start and, holding and, onto it. It'll be good for <laughs> uses later. Yeah. Uh, you notice that as soon as you have pulled the jars off of the ground, does the floor start falling again? No, the, another jar appears immediately, like. Literally, like, imagine, like, you had grabbed something, and as soon as it was out of view, the thing was in its place again. Does, he, does Nira still have a jar? Yes. It's not like it leaves your hand. So imagine, like, you pick, you know the video, like, you pick something yeah. up, and it's still there? It, yeah. would, it would appear that. That would be how fast it was back in place. As soon as the right. space was enough for a new one so to appear. So, so basically, I've grabbed the other four, and after a while, there's, the other four is still there? Yes. I go now, for a complete set. Now that I have... How many is a complete set? I, I have one of each. Okay, then yeah. And to be fair, they're all... Uh, for the intents and purpose, they're all basically look the same. Like, they're the same kind of bucket. But... I take my, I take my smithy tools out. Okay. And I find... And, and, and I find... Uh, like cloth not cloth but like ties of, of varying either textures or color something to signify and then i wrap each one in a different string or something so that i know the difference between all five okay so you now have them marked individually and then i tie them to my waist all righty uh, i will say and obviously this is all dependent on what you're already carrying uh, each of these buckets is a little heavier I think then your regular bucket, I think the regular bucket is like two or three pounds. But these will be about eight pounds a piece. 
because they're made okay. from a very you actually don't know what they're made of on first glance so normally i don't carry anything i carry a tinder box and my weapons yeah i know everything These... else is on my dog <laughs> <laughs> he's like damn peasants having to carry their own <laughs> well like so for instance i bought a two-person tent because i figured my dog and me that's all like i would need anything else so like my dog has my bedroll. And <laughs> He's like, man, I am the really dog. <laughs> the, the dog is the responsible one in this relationship. Clearly. Clearly. I have a Tinder box because every now and then I'll be out adventuring. So like it's the only reason I have a Tinder box. And my Smith tools because I have to sharpen my weapon. That makes sense. So I really don't I don't have much. So I'm I'm literally just tying these things up. But that is uh that is fine. You know what I did realize? <laughs> I'm guessing the plat a platform is raised, right? Actually no, the platform never raised. That it it basically worked as a spinning mechanism to raise the floor. And it also raised the oh. chains at the same time. Yes. They are all connected to the same like mechanism. A old pirate like anchor hoister uh, yar har fib db yep so i like how you got that reference the little circle it's definitely what it's based on okay got a quick question so if she walks if Chloe walks across the bridge she gets mine right so technically the bridge is there but it would be sitting on top of ground and there will be spikes protruding through the bridge now which there's walkable area between the bridge there is um yes i'm just trying to see give you an example of where the spikes are so um i i definitely think we need to go this direction i don't know if other people oh jeez lord ah uh, uh, yes yeah. they can they they um, can i i do think we need to go this direction now that we can actually walk this way walk um, this way and I do have the one. And again, damn it! I the one it. thing for light. Um, seeing as these things are spawning, technically, maybe we should all have these things. Um, so that way we can have light and we can see. Uh, uh, see also, quick question: Actual people are classified as being. For the uh, spikes. The jars. The, oh, buckets. the jars. The they would be uh, medium buckets. Unless they're more than I thought they were. The old ones might be more. Actually, no. These should be small buckets. They're not like... They're not like it's, water it's pails. Yeah. This one is. but It would be a little different than your standard bucket. It looks like it's made of something weird. Also, I'm not sure you guys can see them, but I put spikes on the map. Yes. I, do, I see them, yeah. Uh, and... Uh, thank you. Uh, and as you can see, there's one space walking between them. I will put all the spikes on, but that will take me forever. We might not be in this room that long. So just assume they spread out in that kind of same squared pattern where there's one line in between the four by four spike pattern. Gotcha. And I can do a little copy and pasting, but as you see, sometimes I grip the map instead of the, uh, <laughs> the spikes because I added them to the wrong layer. <laughs> Good job, me. Uh, having said that, uh, I'm actually almost out of time. Usually we would have actually stopped by now for Diffy anyway, but I gotta go pick somebody up from work. I gotta go to bed so I can go to work. Uh, yeah. Uh, I should have stopped about an hour ago, but we're having so much fun. I know, it's it was a very fun one. It's, it's always great to have it a bunch of people. It was great meeting you, Jewel. Yeah. I yep. met these other jokers last week, but it was great meeting you. Haha. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> This is a perfect description. I think it's kind of funny that me and Gamma completely switched places on the duck this time. Yes, it was just like, well, I'm going to eat this duck. How dare you even suggest eating my fair Donnie? <laughs> Meanwhile, in the other campaign, fuck this duck. <laughs> yes. And in both exactly. of them, Donnie loves you equally. That's the sad part. I don't have a problem with Donnie. I just I don't understand why Donnie's here. He just keeps quacking. That's what Donnie does. To be fair, Donnie uh, can be understood by some people. Yes, it is very true. Quack. And I love it. I love it. Which seriously, Chloe is like, someone teach me what the hell this duck is. 
To be fair, it's not like something you learn. It's just like, it's it's like a natural. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You just either understand Donnie or you don't. <laughs> Catharis <laughs> understands Donnie, and uh, yeah, some other people can understand Donnie. Is like a... Come on, it's not Donnie's choice either. Once we're out of this mist, we'll have to we'll have to figure out what we we because I need healing. I need healing bad, but. That'll be next week, hopefully. Yes. Hopefully you will be free again, Jewel, but if not, we understand. We do, and we have another ice another place where we have gone messing with things in weird un unknown places. Nobody knows the trouble we get into in the other game. Oh man. Uh, I would ask, but then there's a small suspicion I don't wanna know. The only thing you really need to know is Donnie is there. I believe we stabbed a uh, four-year-old? Six-year-old? Well, they were gonna stab a four-year-old. Yeah. There's a difference. Intent is not the same as this. It's, <laughs> I know, that's what my lawyer told me. But yeah, this was definitely a great one, guys. Appreciate it, as always, coming and playing right. with us. And uh, hopefully see you next week, barring any yeah. random acts of misfortune or D&D &D violence. Huzzah! Thank you for DMing. Good night. Uh, Thank you, Alex or Axel. <laughs> Appreciate it. It's all right. I do that myself I, sometimes. I, I almost mixed up that entire like just word. Dyslexia <laughs> speaking. Look, that's words hard. English bad. English words is hard. English words are difficult. <laughs> Good night, guys. Yep. Good night, Good night. everyone. Good night. <laughs>